Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to yet another special edition of Crescent City Sports with me, your host, Chanel Reed. Okay, first up, I just want to take some time to address the poor March Madness fanatics who participated in the billion dollar bracket on Yahoo Sports. You took time out of your busy schedule to fill out what you thought was a perfect bracket along with doing some research, well, obviously some less than others, but hey, who are we to say that you weren't wasting your time? I mean, who am I to say that deep down you couldn't claim those nine zeros? I mean, who am I to say that you didn't see Mercer beating the Facebook favorite Duke in just the first round of the tourney? Or even predicting that Kansas was lose to Stanford? Or Wichita State would lose to Kentucky? And most importantly, that the Tennessee Volunteers would go from just fighting to break into the bracket to celebrating as members of the Sweet 16. I mean, who could have predicted all of these upsets? Well, the answer to that question is no one. According to Yahoo Sports, there are no more perfect brackets out of about 15 million hopeful yet doubtful people. Better luck next year, and if you really are desperate for that billion, do what my friend's grandmother does. Play the lottery until you can't feel your fingers. Bless her heart. Anyway, moving on to real news, or at least news related to the title of this segment. The Saints have officially signed fullback Eric Lorick to a four-year, $4.8 million contract. Now, other than the fact that Lorick is a 6'4", 250-pound machine, this is significant because his former team is division rival Tampa Bay Buccaneers. ESPN's John Clayton reports on the newest addition to Who That Nation. Well, everything doesn't work how we planned. Anyway, the Saints have re-signed tackle Zach Street to a five-year, 20 million dollar contract, but they have yet to lock in their other tackle, Charles Brown. More decisions from the Saints coming next week. Finally, the Pelicans have been officially ruled out of playoff contention, but turn that frown upside down because they can potentially draft the NBA's next great player. With the Pels having a good shot at yet another number one pick, we want to know who you feel they should draft. Should they take Duke's freshman Jabari Parker, Kansas's Andrew Wiggins or Joel Embiid? Oklahoma State's Marcus Smart, or even someone else. Tweet your answers and let us know what you think. Well, that's the time for this week's segment. Don't forget to tune in next week where we will break down the Saints as they continue to complete their team for next year's roster. For Crescent City Sports, I'm Chanel Reed. Coming up, Rachel gives you her opinion on whether or not fans should be allowed to rush the court. We'll be right back.